We have been looking for an HIV vaccine for about 23, 24 years, ever since, really, we found the cause of HIV in 1983, 1984. There have been nothing but failures until just about two years ago, when the first trial that showed even a modicum of success was conducted in Thailand among 16,000 individuals. It had a 31 percent efficacy. That clearly is not ready for ta prime time, nor would it ever be distributed. But what it did do is that it proved the concept that a vaccine is feasible. Intensively, over the past few years, I would say particularly the last two years, investigators have identified parts of the virus that can be associated with a what we call a broadly reactive neutralizing antibody. In other words, if a person makes an antibody against that component of the envelope of the virus, you can suppress the virus. Rarely individuals produce these antibodies. The trick and the challenge in developing a vaccine is how do you induce the body to make these antibodies that it doesn't easily make naturally? And now there have been significant advances in identifying that component of the virus and trying to put it in a form that when you inject somebody with that protein, they will make antibodies that will neutralize the virus. So even though we have not had a long success string in vaccine development, the last two years have shown us the light at the end of the tunnel where we are confident that it's possible. No guarantee when we're going to get it, but we're confident that it's possible.